Michael, thank you for joining us at uh, ESOL 2023. It's a real pleasure to be here, seeing things evolving. You know, many years ago we started off with the OLED. Now the booth is here. It's like everybody knows where to find it. You don't have to seek it in the, in the manual where, where they are. We've had a great uh, partnership and relationship since we started working together, Audi and OLED Works. What do you think are the key items that have made that uh, partnership successful so far? You know, even if I'm not in the red light, busy anymore, still <laughs> supportive. But if you come here and see all the people, so your team is growing. So you find that, let's say, the senior OLED Works team, which is still here and fully motivated to push things to the border. But also the new people, which are now involved in this, in this whole topic, are really open in communication, listening to the customer, trying to understand what is next and what is needed. And even if I'm talking to you, we are continuously evolving new ideas. It's not that we are talking about to conserve or to, to save something as it is. It's always getting to the next step, and this is highly appreciated. Yeah, well, I think we, we feel the same way. When you, when you think about uh, where we started and where we are, <laughs> what, are the, what are some of the biggest achievements that, that you see reflecting back? So I think everything got more professional. So well knowing in the beginning it was more, let's say, a, a very let's say, intelligent team knowing what to do, but really getting right hands on, on the business with us as the OEM or the business with the tier one. And now you're acting, I would say, more or less on the same level as all the other big LED manufacturers which are here. You, you have a, a voice, the customer, the tier one is listening to you, and everything is reliable. And, and this is really something which is a, a complete package which is perfectly working out. As you think about what comes next, what, what, what parts of the OLED technology are exciting that you see in the future with, with our development and from others? I think that the stage where we are in right now is really to consolidate what we really had worked out quite hard. So now it's really the time to, to, to use it, to make business, to, to show to the rest of the world this is here, this is existing, this is working. For the next step, I think it's really getting what the market is demanding. So to be more flexible, to, to react on, let's say, what kind of digital content you really want to put into your light source. Connect this to other sources like the mobile phone or the car or something like that. But also thinking to, to make the technology even more mature. It's like not that you have to work on a new red or something like this because it's existing, but really working out new business fields. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still dreaming of a white OLED. Uh, maybe before I'm retiring, we, we can have a, a, a mock-up here or even a real product. But in the end, really taking this, what we have learned in the past, to go for the next step. This is something I really, really would like to see at OLED Works and following quite closely. What are the basic things about OLED that are so beautiful to you? It's robust. It's exactly the light source you need in a taillight. It's flat. It's lightweighted perfect contrast ratio and when you see what's happened so we, we started off in an, an area light source where some of our competitors stopped doing the next steps and now if we see the mock-up here the Q6 e-tron or the, the demo kits you have to really see what you can do you even can go for a more three-dimensional impression just by, by operating the OLED in the proper manner and this is just the, the let's say that the platform for the complete uh, designers and uh, next ideas to be grown on. So what I've seen from, from, uh, from Audi, from you and from the team at Audi and Lighting is the ability to take something that they see uh, that has incredible potential to find the right partner, to stick with that mm -hmm. in the lighting space. And how do you view Audi's ability to do that in general? I think it's, let's say, our basic philosophy. So we were always starting to understand the technology, to see where, where the limits are and try to think whether we can take this as a, a unique selling point for the technology for Audi, together with our design to, to really work on those limits because this is what they want to have. They want to have the, the minimum light source or the, the most bright impressions, the more, most flexible and homogeneous impressions and, and really to, to be able to provide this in a, in a kind of design guideline you need to understand what's feasible, what this is capable of. And, and really taking this as a baseline, every new technology will evolve the same way. Yeah, Audi has demonstrated to us an ability to take what's possible and see the future exactly. and implement that. To me, it's been just a fantastic relationship and I want to thank you for, for all of our work together in the past and look sure. forward to more front lighting in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I take you by your word. Okay, David, it's a pleasure. Yes. Thank you also thank for you the so trust much. in us. Yes. Thank you very much.